October 15th at 449 uh, I have just gotten home over my long fall break that our school had which was wonderful uh, I come in on here in a brand new way <laughs> I have done something completely different with my hair I have gone back to having bangs so I am extra anxious to see what my kids think tomorrow of my new hairdo. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking the new look. I think it makes me look a little bit younger. I hope they will agree and I hope my co-workers will like it as well. I'm happy with it so that's pretty much all that matters but um, it, it's been kind of, of a rough fall break. It started out really good, really really good and then it just kind of collapsed from there and I will kind of go into detail of what happened. So as you kind of remember in my past vlogs, you will notice that we have cats and those cats will, one of the cats came to my parents' house in August of, of last year and uh, the cat, we named her Oreo and um, she kind of just adopted my dad, mom and dad. <laughs> so after a while, she had a litter and she had a daughter before then, but she had a, another litter, which caused her to have five kittens. Well, of those five kittens, we named them, and her daughter was named Shadow. Well, Shadow's off to the country at my aunt's house but kind of skipping ahead in summary, uh, the kittens were named Raja, Gus Gus, Disney, Tinkerbell, and Tigger. And of those three, went to the country with my aunt and we kept two of them, which was Gus Gus and Disney. And Disney was, he was just so playful, friendly, we just grew to love him so very much. He was a boy and he was only five months old and we had to, this is gonna be very hard because I'm, I'm still trying to get over it. It's, it's kind of difficult, but we had to put him to sleep. Our vet in our small town called us on Saturday morning because we had noticed through the week that he was beginning to get real sick and he wasn't acting like the normal Disney like he normally acts and my mom was just so worried about him so we took him to the vet it was on what day was that <laughs> it was Thursday took him Thursday morning Friday no 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 back up we took him Friday I believe. Yeah, Friday to the vet in our local town, small town of where my parents live. And she looked him over and she took blood tests. She did all the things and it kind of concluded that he had evidently in birth had liver problems and he just wasn't going to get better. And he had yellowing of the skin eyes, which I can't remember the name of it. I will have to ask my mom again and put it down below. I can't remember. I think it starts with a J or something. But we had to put him to sleep on Saturday morning because the vet called and said, you know, Disney is not getting any better. I'm not seeing any progress at all. 
and I don't think he's going to get better. So I think the best thing to do is to put him to sleep. It was sad because in the week that we had him and got to enjoy those few days, he had one evening we had went out went out to sit on um, my mom's porch, mom and dad's porch, and he put his paw up on my because I was wearing shorts that day. It was the weather was good. So I was wearing shorts that evening and he put his paw up and he just wanted me to hold him. And my mom said, Don't hold him without the towel. So we didn't have the towel anywhere anywhere around us at that time. So I, I I have felt bad ever since then because I wish I could have had the chance to hold Disney. It's been very difficult. I'm still trying to get over it. When we went to see him on Friday, because we I, I guess we did take him on Thursday because we went back up. Golly, I'm getting my stories confused. Did we take him on Thursday or did we take him on Friday? I think we took him on Friday. Because we took him that morning. And then that Friday evening, we went back uh, to say, I guess that was our goodbyes. Because we knew he probably wasn't going to get better. And so she kept him overnight at the vet clinic. Yeah, that has to be right. Anyway, it's it's been difficult because none of our family is pet owners. This has been our first kind of experience <laughs> in having pets and having cats and just learning the way cats are. Um, you know, cats are really hard because they're not loyal. They leave and then they come back and then they leave and then they come back and it was kind of special with Disney because the weekend I had come home for my birthday, he was there. And when I was home during the fall break, he was there. And it's just so sad because Disney was always my favorite one out of all of them. I just grew attached to it, attached to the thing because when he was a child, he was so cute. Or baby kitten. <laughs> when he was a baby kitten, he was just so adorable. I just grew attached to him. How can you not grow attached to these animals? They're just cute. And I used to never be a cat person. I always liked dogs the best. But, you know, dogs never, you know, come around to where they you can adopt them. Just, you know, <laughs> free for all. You had to go actually buy a dog. I mean, you can go grab a puppy when people sell them, but we're just not home that much, so it's very difficult, and I can't have pets of where I live because um, I would have to pay extra for the rent, and I'm not going to do that. So it's it's been a very difficult week. I will give you that. It's just... <sighs> I just can't tell you how much that, you know, Disney was a part of my life for a while. And when I would go home and visit, he was always there. So I'm kind of having a very difficult time in coming to terms with him being gone. So, to say the least, our our fall break kind of got haltered with that. And uh, the good side of it, though, is he's in a better place. I don't know if animals go to heaven, but if they do, he is in a better place with the Lord. So, I hope they go to heaven. I don't know if they go to heaven. <laughs> I hope they do. You never know. Anyway, uh, so uh, tomorrow we start back with school and the same 
repetitious grind. <laughs> uh, tomorrow after school, I do have to go to the store. So I might do a store haul. Um, but we have this week, there's really nothing special. Well, I mean, nothing really special in school going on, but on the flip side, my mom is going to be coming down Thursday and she's going to be staying with me a while and she is going to be having a booth at the Running Water Draw craft show here in my town. She is going to be selling jewelry while I am going to be selling <gasps> some journals that have lines in the journals where you can write. And you know, I kind of thought these journals would be a good fit for people that carry big purses and just like want to jot down some maybe list for the grocery store and maybe some ways of, you know, staying on budget, writing their stuff down. I mean, they're really cute journals. I will go through and show you what I've done so far to them and I'm hoping that I will have some luck and sell some journals. The journals are going to be $5 for large. Not so sure about the small. I haven't decorated in small ones yet, but I plan to do that hopefully this week. But, um, oh my gosh, my arm is starting to kill me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be selling journals and my mom is going to be selling her jewelry. The jewelry kind of varies in prices, but I will share her information down below in the description box, and I will also share my journals as well. If you are interested in a journal, I am will most willing and honored to customize it to the way you want it. Uh, all I would need is some information from you. I might link like a Google form on the description box down below so that I can get some information from you so that we'll know where to send it and how you can pay for it and all that jazz but I'm really excited about this weekend I think hopefully it will be a success and if it's not it is what it is well you just never know and it's supposed to be slightly cool on the weekend not bad so I'm hoping that people will get out and shop and shop for their gifts for teachers and for Christmas and for their loved ones. So Running Water Draw is a local vendor craft show and I'm really hoping that we sell out. It would be just a great thing if we could sell out and I think my mom would be happy as well if that could happen to her too. Um, what are some other things going on? Um, in the next few weeks, let's see, after this weekend, the next week I have a field trip that will be going with the art club to another city uh, where they're going to be doing print and ceramics workshops. And after that, just a few more weeks, and I go to conference for art educators. And um, after that, it's soon to be Thanksgiving right around the corner. Um, nothing exciting going on there. I probably will have my um, dad's sister on his side of the family come for Thanksgiving. I think my other side of the family is going to go see a Dallas Cowboy game. I'm so jealous. So jealous. So jelly. But as the, as the way these Cowboys are playing right now, I, I'm not sure that I'd want to go now that they've not played well. Anyway, that's besides the point. But uh, anyway, after that, um, Christmas, we will be in town this year. So what my uh, family has planned, I think, is we are going to go to Disneyland during the summer. Bit bummer, <laughs> kind of sad because I've always kind of enjoyed going during Christmas and seeing all the decor and cutesy decorative stuff that they do during the holidays and the food and the galore, but it's okay. I'll get to go during the summer and I'll get to do summer footage of Disneyland. So that is what's up in my world. And plus, 
prices are increasing for Disney parts everywhere and their annual passes. We're not annual pass <laughs> we're not an annual pass holder, but someday, maybe in the future, the world knows. These but what do you do? But I'm kind of bummed because I love it during Christmas so much. I love it during the holidays. It's just so special. But it's okay. It'll be all right. It'll be what it'll be. And back, spring semester, go January, February, we'll have a break. One week break, we'll have to work on a Monday, teacher work day, the rest of the week is ours. Then we'll have spring break, and then we'll have testing for test tests in April, and then May, and then graduation, and then end of the year, and then yearbook, end with that. And then off to Disneyland I go. So, not too much more. The year is going fast. Keeping in positivity. Positive vibes only. Only on this channel, positive vibes. That's the way it is. The way it is on here. So, that kind of gives you an update of what's going to go on in Suzanne astrologer's channel and I will you know hopefully be able to video some of the running water draw and show you kind of what it looks like and my booth that I'll be at with my mother we're really excited about this we're hoping we'll have a great success in selling our things and hopefully we'll make some money some moolah some dough and that will just be helpful to the both of us since we are not very good at saving money <laughs> and yeah so we'll see we'll just see we'll see what the week holds and i'm loving my hair loving the bangs i think it will be great but I will go ahead and show you enough of my See these, you're probably going to figure out where I live. And that's okay. <laughs> but, oh well. I don't know. I never like to mention where I live. I don't just shoot it out there. I mean, my mom has on her videos, but I just kind of keep it, you know, private. Okay, so here we go. I've been watching Angie Belmar this evening. She is a trainer, exercise person, but she also lives in Orlando, Florida and goes to the Disney parks and Universal. So I've just been watching her all evening. I'm just not going to play that commercial because that's just annoying. But anyway, here is my first journal. They are not decorated on the back because I feel that would be too much, but it just has my signature on the back. Black and red, Tetsu Stat. I have been very um, into suits, so I've done a suits journal. I'm surprised that these two have not been taken up. WTMU Buffs. As I said before, you can probably figure out where I live now. You can probably search them and go, oh, that's where she lives. But the Buffalo. Another Texas Tech Rikam. And these are the ones that are uncolored right now. I did Texas Tech. Another one. I have done Bulldogs for the school that I teach at. Uh, Wayland. The Sweet Life. And some of these I'm going to add more to. Just Be You. And this is the one I'm currently working on is the Holly Jolly Vibes, and behind it is different colored 
ornaments. I am just in the process of finishing it up. So I think that's what I'm going to work on this evening while I'm watching YouTube. And color it. But as you can tell when you open up the journals, it's lined. And on the back, I sign them. So, that's what I've been working on. I've been enjoying my Texas tea that I got in our local Metroplex. And drinking some H2O in my swig smiley face cup. And I just noticed on my YouTube, I checked it a while ago, and noticed, hello there, I have 121 subscribers. Thank you to those who just now subscribed to my channel. I'm so excited. That's very exciting. Very exciting news. So thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I am so glad that you did. I hope that you will continue to be on the Suzanne Strother fan club of the YouTube, my YouTube channel, and I hope you come back for more. I do have some videos coming up, and I will, I'm, I'm just excited. I can't wait to uh, video more and show you more and share more, and most importantly, I hope everybody has a magical day. If you haven't already yet, as of now, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment down below, what is your favorite candy to eat during Halloween? And while I have you still on here, I am wearing the Boo Crew 31. I got this from Target a long time ago. And you know what? I will do a video before I take down my fall stuff. I'm gonna have to be decorating for Christmas really early this year because I just have so much going on. So my fall stuff is going to continue to stay up probably another week, but after the next week, I may be taking it down and putting up Christmas because I, if I don't put it up now, I'll never get to enjoy it because I want to be busy for the next few weekends to come up. So, um, yeah, so you have that to look forward to as well. A decorate with me for Christmas video. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get that done. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, blabbering as I am, I will let y'all go. I hope you all have a magical day. And I will hopefully have this video edited at some point. I don't know when. Because I am a very busy bee. And I am a teacher. And Bye or bye. Have a great evening. Have a great Sunday evening. Sunday reset. Bye. <laughs>